I'm very excited to share with you a preview of WizKids Games, Icons of the Realms, Spelljammer, Adventures in Space, Marketing Preview Box, as well as the Adult Solar Dragon and Prince Zealoth. So let's go in and take a closer look. This is a Void Scaver. Now, I'm gonna be upfront with you. I have the Spelljammer campaign setting that I just picked up, but I'm not familiar yet with everything because I haven't run it yet. So I'm gonna look at this from the point of view of somebody who hasn't and would find ways to use these minis outside of Spelljammer. I mean, look at this could just be a creature from the depths, but look at how spooky and cool this is. Their paint jobs and this uh, series, I think you're gonna find look incredible. And as I always comment on, look how amazing it is with the clear base and you can see right through. You may be wondering what it is I have down. I know his kids is putting out the Astral Sea and a couple mats for Spelljammer. This is just some fabric I found at Joanne's Fabric. So it, it works in a pinch. But, so this is the Void Scaver or Scaver. And what a cool mini. This mini is Hastain. So Hastain, I'm imagining, is a named NPC for the campaign. But what could you use this for if you're not using uh, the Spelljammer campaign setting? Well, this could be a tiefling. It could be a air or water genasi. Could be, could be whatever you want it to be. That's the great thing about the versatility of these minis. And again, look at the detail on the face. The minis are getting painted better. And all the minis now and have been uh, coming out with clear bases. And you have to love it. This is an astral elf, a named elf, Princess Zadali. And... How cool, look at this. And it's got like a clear helm. Look at the glass bubble. And you can see the face inside. So again, this is, you know, very specific to Spelljammer, but why couldn't this be a elven princess who is sustained by sorcery and needs this, you know, um, arcane bubble or mask over her face to sustain her because her maybe her lungs were born weak makes for a really interesting npc but again i'll probably use her as the mini because i do intend to run the Spelljammer adventure in the back uh, and you know that's included in the box set this is an astral elf you can tell by the lithe elvish figure holding aloft the sword. But again, this, I mean, this could be used as a knight, an eldritch knight in your game, or perhaps an elvish duelist. Another very cool mini. I love the attire and the detail. Maybe my favorite mini in this set, Warwick Blastemoff. That's Warwick blast him off <laughs> check it out look at it's got a pipe a musket so this is a gif so this is again very specific to spell jammer right but maybe you have gif in your campaign you don't maybe you don't go with just the standard the standard uh races or maybe this was a once mighty uh, gunsmith who was cursed. He was cursed by some animals or something. So the, the spirit animals, you know, taking vengeance, you know, for uh, the hunting that he carried out in their lands and changed him in so he would learn empathy and compassion. But instead it hardened his heart. And now he, he fights on and hunts more than ever. <laughs> Maybe. This is a Niyogi Master. 
And I know there are Neogi slavers, and these are wicked creatures from Spelljammer, but couldn't this just be a burrowing creature in, uh, in the Underdark or in a subterranean lair that your players are adventuring through? Here's Flapjack. <laughs> He's a flump pirate. He's pretty cute. I can't help but think of the cartoon Flapjack when I hear that name. But this is this is a fun little mini. And if he is an NPC in the campaign, then I'm going to end up having to borrow this mini because I have a feeling my youngest son is going to abscond with it. But look at that, how cool. This mini, it reads Mercane. So I don't know if that's what it is, or if that's its name, it looks like something out of the MCU to me. Like Thor would have visited a planet that had one of these, right? Why couldn't this be a giant mystic? You know, an ogre mystic or a stone giant mystic. It's on a, well, it's on a large base, but still it could be a little smaller. But again, if you're playing through the campaign like I intend to, this is probably gonna be a very useful mini. This is a gadge, G-A-J, whatever that is. This could be used for what it is. Again, if you're running that campaign, I intend to. <laughs> but it could also be a demon. It could be a burrowing creature. It could be a thing from the nightmare realms. It's definitely spooky looking. I don't know if I'm going to say this right. This is Neg Ne Thalig. Maybe I got that right. Look at how horrifying. Why couldn't this be also be a creature, an infernal or an abyssal creature or an aberration of some sort, some sort of dungeon dweller or even a deep sea dweller on the ocean floor, the depths, or hiding in the sand on a beach. So whether you're using this as intended or making it up this thing is really cool and again this is another one you could probably use as a threat for the ships because some of the ships are this big smaller or or a step bigger this is one of my absolute favorite sculpts for beholder it's really reminiscent of third edition look at that this is incredible i love it and you know, Beholders, of course, have a place in Spelljammer, but in any campaign, so I love that this was included. This really is a tremendous one. I There was the, the original third edition Beholder, and I love, love, love that mini, but I never got it. And this one is very akin to it. In fact, it's 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 better, the detail, the paint job. I love that pose that it's it's not looking out, but it's looking down upon its victims. And of course, you know how I feel about that clear base, don't you? Let's let's get under there. Look at that. Here we get a twofer. It's a giant space hamster. But look, it's got a like a little halfling master. And I think both minis are rather cool. I mean I This is like it's like a beast of burden carrying <laughs> carrying all sorts of stuff. It looks like it could be a sled. I don't think those are bows. It could be a sled that it puts down. Maybe maybe they're bows. But this halfling, I think I'm gonna snip off the base, snip off the rope, tuck the rope behind the halflings or the hamster's arm, and then put her on a little clear base of her own. Get two minis. For one, but look at look how adorable this guy is. This is a brogue. A brogue. What's up, brogue? And he's like this four-armed giant wielding a spear and a boulder. 
Why couldn't he be some sort of mutant hill giant if you're not running Spelljammer? Or a new breed of giant that you homebrew yourself. I'm a fan of doing homebrew. Look how, how great. I love that pose. But look at, he's looking up. What threat could be coming from above? This is a Braxit. This also reminds me something that you'd see in the MCU. It's very Dark Sun. Maybe it is from Dark Sun originally. I don't know. Maybe there'll be a Dark Sun campaign setting coming out. We get some crossover. Whether we do or not, use it for your Spelljammer game. Use it as a creature in a desertous environment or rocky hills. Look at that. Look at the, look at the detail and the paint job and the texture. This is a tremendous adversary for your players. Or switch it up and make him or her an ally. And we come to the young solar dragon. Now I'm gonna put a mini here so you can see. Now it's got the base, the inner circle. It represents the young solar dragon, a large base, but it's on a huge base which really, so it could be used, oh no, Elf Down, really could be used as a, an adult. So, but Dan, Inked Mage, I'm not running Spelljammer. What use could this be? Well, then I think you could use this as a sea dragon. Look at it. It's got fins. This could be, the, the wings could be like kind of a jellyfish substance. You could tell by my <laughs> by my words, I'm I'm a marine biologist, right? So this is a really cool mini to use. Now I'll show it to you in comparison to the case sensitive figure. Here is the adult solar dragon in Prince Zealoth. And this is really cool because you can use this in a variety of ways. But before I get there, I want to show you again. This is the one that comes in the booster boxes, and then this is the case sensitive. This is the one that you can buy all on its own. Now, you're gonna say, Dan, I noticed a difference in the paint job and the texture. And so remember, you can, you'll, this, you have a chance of getting this in a, um, in a box that you pick up at your store. You know, you just pick up a booster pack and that could be in there. This one is significantly more money so it is going to be more detailed. And, and you know what, for your dollar, it better be. But I don't think it's a problem using them together. Now, that base represents a huge base with the inner circle, but the outer one is gargantuan size. So this really could be a gargantuan dragon. And you could also use it as, again, a couple sea dragons or use it for Spelljammer and there's solar dragons, however you want. So I'm gonna show you this awesome prince Zealoth mini here, and then you're gonna see how you can get Prince Zealoth to ride. So Prince Zealoth comes apart, and then you also have his legs so that he can mount the dragon. Now, I only have one free hand, so I'm gonna just have to put it together, but I assure you they go together very easily and it's not a difficult process at all. And it's very cool that they do this to provide options for how you use your minis here. So this piece here pulls out of the dragon and then you can slot in the legs. Once you've slotted in the legs, I'm trying this with one hand here, you can then slip in the prince. I'm sorry for that shoddy camera work. <laughs> Truly, just don't lose these extra pieces. Keep them safe. And now you have a dragon with a rider. And I think that's very cool. And then you could also go back to being riderless and then put the, the 
elf on his regular legs. But this is a really cool set. I know a lot of fans have been waiting a long time for Spelljammer. Uh, me included. I really am a fan of different. And the great thing about Spelljammer is it's not sci-fi, it's fantasy, just in space. So once again, you can pick these up at your favorite brick and mortar store. You could also pre-order them at dndmini.com, dndmini.com. But I want to congratulate WizKids once again. This is a excellent set and next video is going to show you uh, the ships. So stay tuned.